The Cheese Boy 628 Show, starring Cheese Boy 628. Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Cheese Boy 628 here today, giving you an OU tier Pokemon Showdown battle. Now, looking at my team, this is actually a team that I made for the tournament weeks ago now. I basically based it off of the Pharaoh Scent Core, which has now been somewhat ruined thanks to pokes such as Talonflame and Aegislash. And look at that opponent's team. But first, getting into my team, I have a Mega Heracross. I have a Galvantula that's Life Orb with Sticky Web. I have an Assault Vest, Tyranitar, Physically Defensive, Rocky Helmet, Ferrothorn, Specially Defensive, Jellicent, and Air Balloon, Excadrill. Now the point of my team is to get up as many hazards as possible. My opponent doesn't have a Spinner or Defogger unless Gliscor gets it at this time. I don't believe it does. But my point is just to get as many hazards up as possible, try to disable that Talonflame through rocks, and for Aegislash, kind of just hope that Excadrill does a ton of work on it. I have enough speed investment in Heracross that it will outspeed a Greninja at minus one with the Sticky Web intact. So, let's see how this battle goes. So I'm going to start with my Ferrothorn right off the bat, trying to get up my rocks as soon as possible. And of course he starts out with that big threat, Talonflame. And I'm feeling pretty scared already, especially since he goes for the Swords Dance and the Brave Bird. And this is the reason why he breaks my defensive core. But this is also the reason why I carry T-Tar. He's at plus two, for some reason carries the U-Turn. And this is why I carry the Pursuit. I have enough attack EVs to take it out from that range. And it brings in Gliscor, and I'm just going to go into my Pharaoh. Goes for the knockoff and he gets that Iron Barbs and Rocky Helmet damage. Not really going to matter since my goal is not to attack him as much as possible, but to get my hazards up. I do get my rocks up now. And he actually goes for the superpower with his Zoomerl. I thought since I'm fully physically defensive I could take the hit. Apparently not. So he is at pretty decent health and I'm going to go into my Galvantula and I'm just going to set up the Sticky Web. And I take the superpower relatively nicely since he was at minus one, although probably neutral because of what I suppose is banded seen as he took out my Ferrothorn. Now here I'm pretty much free to just go for the Thunder, which is exactly what I do. I get a nice crit and a para on this Aegis Slash. The para would only matter if he gets para hacks because he's already pretty slow. Yeah, I'm just going to switch out now, kind of predicting the Shadow Sneak. He's actually going to go for the King Shield for, for whatever reason, and he's going to go for the Shadow Sneak here, which definitely did not seem like the best play. I went for the Fire Blast in the case he went for King Shield again to get me a minus two attack. Nonetheless, this Gliscor comes in, easily revenges me with the EQ. Now I can come with the Galvantula. Now here's where it gets interesting. I reveal the HP Ice now. So it's kind of just 50-50. Is he going to stay in to take the HP Ice or is he going to switch out? I'm going to go for the HP Ice to be very safe here. And I just do not do anything to that Azumarill. And I need Galvantula. It is the only way I'm going to take out that Gliscor because I do not have Sword Stance on Heracross. Plus, if he does happen to carry Aerial Ace or Acrobatics or something, he is definitely going to be able to destroy my Heracross. Now, I max HP, I take the Aqua Jet really nicely, easily can take out this Azumarill with the Bullet Seed from three hits. I was going to go into his Alakazam, and I'm going to go for the Bullet Seed because I can outspeed him from this range because the Sticky Web is up, and Magikard, of course, is not immune to Sticky Web. Now this Gliscor is in here, and I'm actually going to go out right to my Galvantula, predicting the Protect here. Definitely an extremely risky play, but I basically needed it so I could get a free switch into Galvantula here. Now, I do go for the Bug Buzz for the first turn as he goes for the Protect, and then I go for the HP Ice this turn, take him out! And that just seals me the game, because otherwise I definitely would have had a ton of trouble, because then he could have easily taken me out. Thankfully that is not the case, I can easily take out Greninja since he's on minus one speed with the Bug Buzz, and that will be a pretty darn narrow 2-0 victory. And I hope you all enjoyed, this was definitely a super fun battle. Thank you all for watching, like, comment, sub, and until later, peace.